G'day there. Well, thank God we got there in the end. Eh? Listening to the Prime Minister yesterday and her logic and reason, the most obvious question for those who spent most of last week saying the same thing is why didn't she get it then? Why was she dragged kicking and screaming to this most obvious of points? The modelling she referred to, as far as cases are concerned, has been around since the numbers offshore exploded. The lessons learned and not learned have all been there for us to see and read and take in and absorb. The modelling has us at just over 600 cases by this Sunday, about 1,200 by this time next week, over 23. 300 by Thursday week. Short of a vaccine, a lockdown was all we could do. Thank God we got there in the end. Much more reassuring has been the government's economic response. They have performed poorly health-wise, not so economically, with the odd exception like the Pike River money that got slipped through quietly the other day, the Maori call, the benefit call, etc. The obvious extensions were made yesterday. All businesses, big and small, now have some sort of cover or help. The banks are playing their role, helped by the government and their balance sheet and the Reserve Bank, of course. If there is a light at the end of the tunnel economically, given all of this is global and we're all in trouble, money, it appears, won't be an issue. They can print the stuff as long as there's ink, basically. Money can flood the place, which makes it in stark contrast to the GFC. It is why the GFC, by the way, and this should never really have been compared at all. Banks can protect mortgages and houses. Rents are being protected. This is a limited crisis where an end will eventually unfold. China is living proof of that. Just look at the numbers. My only real fear at this point, you know what, is us. To put it bluntly, with the panic shopping and the beach goers and the socialising and the general stupidity, we have hopelessly let ourselves down. For the past week, rightly or wrongly, the world has changed dramatically. The day Trump closed those borders to Europe, the world changed dramatically. That was your cue or the clue, and too many didn't get it or didn't want to get it. My great hope, apart from us getting it now and not behaving like idiots, is we are like Asia. We never forget this. We learn from this. We are better prepared next time. That logic prevails, that this is a health crisis and nothing more. It's not a water crisis, not a power crisis, not petrol, not transport, not food, just health. Being stuck will be fun for some for a while, then it will be a pain, but that's a very small price to pay. At last, the urgency of this is starting to drive decision making and hopefully for us to really get ahead of this instead of just saying we are.